I gotta go to the bathroom. What is going on? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's a great way to start the episode. What's going on? This is uh, Eric Johnson. I with RBM and uh, Kevin, and I don't think there's any WCW guys in here this time. So. They are. They haven't shut the oh, fuck up in the last. 20 oh, minutes. they are here, son of a bitch. God, what a <laughs> get a, uh, I, you guys say you guys just say, uh, checking out the competition. Yeah, you guys say, oh, he doesn't shut up, but you literally when we started our episode started it with booze. He, have you ever heard of the last 20 minutes? We're joking. You I'm know, just saying, like, if I could buy anything, it would be a gun to shoot myself. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Pillman's got one. Pillman's got one. Go ahead. I know. I know Eric is very tempted right. to play true. Anyway. Right, so we're going to ignore him for being a goof, and we start off with a pre show match. I got a better word from cunt. Treeman. Oh, we're getting canceled for that one. <laughs> no, it's countrymen. Come on, uh, Nick. All this says it all the time. Uh, all right, but let's move that's, on. With that's the that's show. for our NWA series lovers. Anyway, TJ right, Wilson. And, and hmm. Double L, we do let you get through what you're doing with your booking. So during the pauses is when we usually talk shit. So just let you know. Yeah. Fuck. So, t- so RBM. So- so, TJ Wilson, I wonder who uh, who could have signed this beautiful bastard. He gets the win over... <laughs> I did. He's, I wonder who I, uh, organized that. But anyways, he I gets hear you the win, a lottery. and the 16-year-old is already outperforming his competition. 29. I also hear in a different series coming soon, possibly, he bought New Japan after winning the lottery. Gee, I wonder when that could be coming, and I wonder which channel that could be going up on. Mine. No, uh, no, I was thinking another channel. Oh. Oh, no, no, he's putting uh, on his actual channel. He's going to log into his old YouTube channel that he had from when he was younger. He's oh, yeah, with his video game reviews and stuff, where he yes. talks about skull fucking all the time? Yes. He's putting it on that one. Mm. Anyway, so T.G. Yep. Wilson gets the win. Isn't that nice? 29. Then we had a 4 okay. X. Tess was the link link. Yeah, Tess sucked. Well, he's got to develop. Yeah. Crush is, although, cr- although Crush is doing pretty okay. Dude, put Dude, him as a tag team. They're going to be Crush Test instead of Crash Test. <laughs> the Crush Test. God. I'll move over here. It's fine. I'll move over here. Ooh, she got a very good seductress gimmick. I see how it did some good work at ringside, which definitely helps. I bet you she did get to do some good work. Hey, t- I thought you were talking about Tess hey, when you sit, when you when you talk about. Hey the Tess, can I be in a relationship with you? Hey Crush, can I like fuck you? <laughs> Which is funny because he's a cheater in the. Safari's finger is the uh, Texas Cloverleaf. What? Wait, Kevin, Jeff you need Hardy to go get them that. for copyright. Yeah, I gotta get them too. Jeff Hardy, I'm coming for you. Fucking. Bad. In 1996, I'm coming for you. <laughs> 97. 97. 97. Sorry, yeah, you I see, uh, had a brain the fart. Hardys back then were a bit shit, so they didn't have the best moves. Yeah, a gimmick change. Why is she having a gimmick change? It gives a small penalty to charisma during matches and angles. Why okay. would she have a gimmick change? What? I think it's, it's not a gimmick change. It's like uh, recap. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I don't understand what that was. This for is a the second. pros and cons of a seductress. Seductress. So basically, she can't use. How's that cartoonish? I don't, I don't understand. Is she Jessica Rabbit out there? What the fuck is happening? Yes, that would be a plot she's, twist. She's not bad. She's just drawn that way. You're not Damn. drawn. You're a fucking person. You dumbass. Whoa, Cam Cornette starting off strong. All right, RBM. So they say. So they say. Look, we've cleared out this entire tag division, and there's quite frankly no other good, believable competition left for us. So you know what? We went and found our own here in the great city of Worcester. What? <laughs> See, Jim Cornette, he's such a heel, he fucks up the city. So then... Worcester slash sauce. So, this, so the crowd starts booing. It's like, yeah, yeah, shut the hell up. So then, so we found these two gentlemen, Matt Bloom and Scott Taylor, two fine specimens, but they're going to com- they're not even going to compare to... The awesome might of the British Bulldog and Owen Hart. 
So there you have it. I got an 85. Okay, challenge. Okay, not oh. bad. Not bad for a two-minute match. No. Yeah. The best two minutes of our lives. So in about that total wrestling and non-existent crowd heat, Owen Hart and British Bulldog. Scott Taylor needs a contract. Matt Bloom and Scott Taylor in a minute 39. When Owen Hart pins Scott Taylor with an inverted pile driver. God, they're trying to kill this kid. I know. Owen Hart and British Bulldog make defense number two of the WWF World Tag Titles. Uh, Owen Hart was head and shoulders above everyone else. Matt Bloom was the weak link. 69. That's pretty good. A. All right. So, um, so we have a beatdown of Matt Bloom and Scott Taylor hat going on with Camp Cornette. Then so Jim Neidhart comes from the crowd, comes in the ring. He faces off with Camp Cornette. He, is he going to stop them all of a sudden? Uh, we, Owen Hart, he has like, uh, yeah. he has like kind of a, Scott Taylor up in like kind of like a bear hug position, but Jim Hart runs the ropes, gives him a heart attack. He's siding with Camp Cornette. No, he legitimately gives him a heart attack. <laughs> Not to move. He just somehow finds a way to give him a heart attack. <laughs> Puts a defibrillator over his chest. That's fucked up. <laughs> Let's see. Is he has a. Very marketable gimmick. We'll sell a lot of merchandise. Ooh. Crazy as a gimmick. And he has very, yeah, very marketable, yeah. For being a crazy. The end goes back, baby. All right, guys, you want to get in your shit talking now? Good stuff. Oh. What oh, shit talking? All right. Oh, okay. shit. Gorilla's bringing the. Gorilla Monsoon is announcing that there will be a fatal four way match for the World Heavyweight title tonight for WWF. Is he, is he your commissioner? Yes. yes. Yeah, we're using him as our commissioner, yeah. Vince hasn't gotten exposed yet. So it's Gorilla. Yeah, Vince mm-hmm. is still play-by-play. Play. Also, before we hit next segment, he also mentions that if either Bret Hart or Stone Cold or Steve Austin win the belt tonight, not only will the contract they signed for the match at the Royal Rumble be a thing, but it was automatically a title match, not just the original stipulation of just a match. So it will be changed if one of them wins the belt. Uh, oh, shit. Three match. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Where Mankind and Undertaker met, and they got a double disqualification. Yeah, these two were just knocking lumps into each other. Then they they're just pounding on each other, you know, beating the fuck Whoa. out of each other. This oh, is yeah, a PG show. Oh wait, I'm sorry, no, not yet. Not. It's TV 14, so they I know, I'm fucking around. I said, oh wait, pounding. not yet, not yet, not yet. Yeah, they're pounding each other hard on Raw. Whoa! Raw. Oh, oh, raw. Now hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. Are they are now are they pounding each other raw? Or are they pounding each other on Raw? They're pounding um, each other raw. But why not both? Exactly. Okay, see, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, they're already beating the hell out of each other. You know, the turnbuckle pads have already been removed. They're slamming each other's heads in. Mankind's probably bloody at this point. It's just an all-out assault. Paul Heyman. Er, Heyman. <laughs> yeah, Paul Heyman. <laughs> Fucking Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. The Undertaker. Paul Heyman in the crowd. He's like, oh my god. This is actually extreme. And then Paul Bear's like, oh shoot! Oh yes! Or, oh shit. Oh, that's funny. 83, though. We will kill you for real this time, Undertaker! We brought Brian Pillman's And then they gun. keep brawling all over the arena, and a guy also got an 83. There you go. They just don't stop after the disqualifications. Yep. They never heard from again. And then, oh, shit, what's happening here? Well, it looks like Ken Shamrock and Mike Tyson are both going to debut for WWF Monday Night Raw. We see them training. Mike Tyson is training Ken Shamrock, the more, the baddest man on the planet, training the dangerous man in the world. That's right. Coming probably at the Rumble. 
I thought we'll we get a better rating. Uh, it's probably because Shamrock's definitely less. Oh shit! <laughs> hey. And we had a seventy-two match between Ahmed. Lack of selling. I expected that. I I expected that with this one. So Vader probably lifted. Honestly, this would be kind of badass. Vader hitting Ahmed with the Vader bomb. Full and force. Gets, and, and then gets the f- right the fuck back. Like Hulk Hogan did with Arn Anderson spine busters. I have a video of that. I will also put it in the Discord. Fucking joke. Got a 72, though. Yeah? Next yeah. angle was Jesse Ventura. There you go. Jason so Jerry Lawler for one match. So right. Jerry Lawler, he's getting ready for his match. He's like, ah, see, see ya, suckers. I gotta go get ready for my, Oh my god, my voice. What the fuck? <laughs> it actually sounds like Jerry Lawler. Sorry, I was going through puberty a second time. Oh, 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 oh I like thought I was going to hear was... Oh, I thought I was going to hear was puppies! Puppies! So, Jerry Lawler has to get ready for his match. And this is like, oh, thank God. I can get you out of my hair for at least a little bit. He's like, oh, no. I, I had so I knew I'd be gone and I knew Jim wouldn't keep you very good company. So I got a friend to keep you some more company. And it's like, oh well, how kind. Who is this friend? Jesse Ventura comes out of the crowd or something. He's like, back. Vince, you're a sight for sore eyes. And I already want to scrape him out with a fork. He's like, Oh my god, why are you back? <laughs> so, Perfect so, timing. <laughs> so why is Kevin dying? I'm so glad you did not read what was on the bottom right there. Um. <laughs> okay. So perfect uh, timing. So what did it say, Kevin? I'm not gonna repeat it. Oh, kaboom! It was a personal message from his girlfriend. That's so all. So my say. fiance oh, just happens to hear me oh. talking about this at the oh my God, bottom right. Can I leave their real name? So, all right, so, so that, and then he's like, now Vince, I know this is, I know this is the night of news you want to hear, but good news is, you're going to be seeing a lot more of me. By the way, I'm a liar. So, yes, folks, if you want to hear this magnificent voice, you can find me on Superstars and Shotgun Saturday Night and all other pay-per-views. And this is like, oh my god, if I could buy anything in the world, it'd be a gun to shoot you and then myself. Nice. 87. Because unfortunately, I can't afford a Bowflex, damn it. It's like, wait, what? Okay. I so then, up. Go ahead. Hey, <laughs> so, here, I'll, ex- I'll explain the start of this. So, Did you also know that okay. Jay Leno is a horrible, uh, awful Hollywood movie star? Anyway. He's not a Hollywood movie star. He's a talk show host. He talks to horrible, awful movie stars. So Jay Leno is here. And he will be actually being a lot more involved because it's like the rock and wrestling part two, but this time with celebrities. But anyway, <laughs> Jay Leno's on the show and he's interviewing Camp Cornette. RBM, take it from here. So, I can't do a good Jim Cornette impression. Eric, can you fill in? You know, I kind of like the thing is, oh shit, you know, you think that my guy here, Jim Nathart, was came down and decided to attack them, them young guys. No reason, as far as I'm concerned, those guys had a coming. You son of a bitch, you dumb fuck, Jay. You dumb bobbleheaded fuck. Now where's my sprite? You keep on bobbing your fucking head around this bullshit. But that got an eighty. Hell yeah. Jim Neidhart was very. Yeah, yeah. Why do you guys always attack people? I just don't understand it. Well, I just yeah, I think Bret, I I Bret Hart was such a good guy, but you guys are so bad. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, got an 80, though. Not bad. There you go. There it is. Okay, so. Uh oh. That got out of order somehow, but all right. That's oh, fine. Jake Roberts was penalized due to going the personal effects issues. of going through personal issues. Is it, or... is it personal issues or drug issues? Either way, 65. Not, not bad. For Jerry Lawler being out there with him, too. Jim Ross and Jesse Ventura have good, pretty good chemistry. Well, bye, King. <laughs> I'm actually thinking bye, Vince McMahon. I'm just having behind the scenes. Yeah. 
Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon goes, you know what, Jesse? I talked to the people in charge because we don't know yet. I talked to Gorilla Monsoon. I'm going to Shotgun Saturday Night and Superstars to get as far away to deal with you as possible. Damn it. You're fired. Oh, wait. Not yet. Uh, I'm fired. You got a 65. All right. And Jay Leno with Stone Cold. 68. That's actually really good. Oh, he debuted a hot catch catchphrase. You said what? Hey, what? No, it's what? Never. He didn't do what yet. No, he debuted why? that last. No, he debuted that last week. So now it's what? Yeah. Now it's why? What? I thought. No, why? no, no. Now it's no. Now it's who? It's who? Okay. Who? Yeah, we're gonna go down the who, what, where, why, and how. We didn't get the what yet. He did why, and he's done who. <laughs> I like how Steve Austin by himself can do it. Fucking all the uh, Camp Cornette guys are just really good at talking. Owen and Jim, yeah. But but Steve can't even save a promo with Jay Leno. 68 is not bad, but just Jay Leno is the one who's probably bringing it down. No, Jay Leno's mic skills are good. He's just uh, bad maybe for just, some reason. I don't know. We'll find out with the other interviews. Brian oh, Hillman's shit. interview fucking went off the wall. Talk about so, Brock, give me my so, he, so basically he says, so because he's a loose cannon, he for no, absolutely no reason just starts going off on Rocky Maivia. He says, Rocky Maivia, you absolutely suck. Your father sucked and your grandfather sucked. Your entire lineage is an absolute failure. The one thing you can actually hang on your hat on your head is that a certain is that Tony Atlas carried your father to the tag titles. And now you're here, and you're garbage. And I'm going to expose you tonight that you're garbage. Why? Because I'm Brian fucking Billman. There's a censored beep there. <clears throat> but an 85, hell yeah. Oh. Now, I'm telling you, it's got to be Jay Leno. It has it's, to be Jay Leno. Bret Hart is also just a vacuum of charisma. Did not do well without <laughs> a script. So both of them improvising dialogue did not get... But 66 is not too bad, again, since we're having yeah, It's still not angles. bad, but fuck. Oh, shit! A 70 match. I did not expect that. You go up to the top two, holy fuck. Dude, this is going to be a good rivalry. <laughs> so, the match, it goes about eight minutes until Pillman, he uses the ropes for leverage to pin the... Pin Rocky Maivia. Not bad, seventy. And then, it, oh shit! See, Psycho said did a good job. No, he he struggled when going off script. So still got an eighty. He's a psycho. It worked. He just babbled like an idiot. <laughs> no, Jay Leno, you may have a small chin. Oh shit! You have a pretty big one. <laughs> you got a pretty big head. I could kick it like a soccer ball. I could kick it like a a, a, a basketball. Fuck. <laughs> you have the whole you have the whole way of the world on your shoulders, Jay. Especially with that big ass fucking jaw and head of yours. No, he, he he's inconcise, so you so you wouldn't say. Especially with that tiny big head. Ass, I, I, I mean head. Fuck. <laughs> that big ass. Sorry, I mean, sorry, head, can we fuck. do this again? We're live, pal. God damn it! Not again. <laughs> Got an 80. Now, I am the intercontinental shit. I'm the world champ. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Holy oh. shit. There we go. So, in the main event, in 15 minutes, Bret Hart defeats Shawn Michaels, Psycho Sid, and Steve Austin. With the, when he pins Steve Austin with the victory roll after Steve Austin had hit a stunner and Hart slinks into the ring and he just manages to, he barely manages to pin Austin. Austin looks like he kicked out, but it was just a second too late. And Bret Hart is the new WWF. Uh, it looks like there's controversy, controversy brewing. <laughs> anyway. And so... Oh, angle. Boys? So what happens it's here is that Bret Hart celebrating, and then uh, you know Bret Hart honored 
Steve Austin grabs a microphone, says, listen here, you piece of trash. You got lucky, you piece of trash. This listen here, shit, man. Uh huh. This Sunday, when I face you for the WWF title, you piece of trash. I'm going to take home the WWF title back to my hometown of Texas. And I'm going to have you a very long reign for a very... Uh, why do I sound like Hank Hill? Anyway. Why did you say back to my hometown of Texas? My hometown yeah, of Texas. My hometown of Texas. Texas is town? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, back in my hometown. Hold on. Back in my... Sawyer. Oh, shit. Back in... Oh, had a few brewskis. Back in my hometown of Texas. It's so... 100. Hell yeah. He's drunk, Elizabeth. That's yeah, he's, he's, he's already drunk, all right? So then Stone Cold has his own celebration after beating Brad Hart's ass with a beer. Probably takes the title... Spits pours on a beer. Yeah, pours a beer in Brett's face. I can't believe that got in the hundred. So the last thing you hear. So in other words, is this is a cold. very iconic moment in the rivalry. Iconic. There you go. Yep. We got a ninth. Boom, bam, baby, yeah. I told you, motherfucker, man. We know how to book my motherfucker. That was close. Uh, 39 regions increased. Holy shit. Thank God we got all that television. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. 90 rating. Let's go. So, so, WCW, thoughts? Good stuff. That well. What? A 90. Yeah. Yeah, a 90. 90. Way better than what the fuck you guys come up. You guys haven't hit a 90 yet. You guys haven't even surpassed our second best show. Yeah. Well, I think that 100 rating saved you guys. That's because so. it's a good rivalry. It's Let's good be rivalry. real. That just means it's a good rivalry. That 100 is because of the good rivalry. A rivalry that happened already in real life. Or is currently happening here in TEW. I mean, that we are booking with a different segment than what actually happened. We'll so we we're, taking it, history. we're taking it with a different direction, baby. We'll see. Right on it. Double L's disappointment. We end this show. Support Raw's War and screw Nitro. That's right, Peace. man. They can suck a dick. See you next time. Yeah, don't even don't even watch him. Although we will be there, so probably do watch that. Yeah, you want to watch it? You want to watch Nitro from when we're there? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, if you want to see an actual champion, come to Raw. You want to see a champion who might show up? Sure, fine. Check out Nitro. <laughs> or alternatively, apparently, now you can check out Thunder. So you have fun with that one. Oh, wait. They don't even have a champion yet. Oh. Yeah. We'll see you next time. See ya.